thank you for being with us here again on another Pray TV program. What a joy to be able to be in the presence of the Lord. And today, I believe these particular scriptures that we're going to be looking into will call on you to continue to love even more. Charlotte is here with me. Charlotte, just greet our folk, dear. Yes, it's a joy to be with you today. We just thank God for His love. The Bible says that His love is shed abroad in our hearts and that we love because He first loved us. This is the love of God that we have come to absolutely depend upon. I do not believe that we would be able to survive in this world without really having that anchorage of being in the love of God. And today we're looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. And as we look at this particular portion of Scripture, we're going to read verses 12 and 13 in the NIV version of the Bible, which says, May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. I know, Charlotte, that this is a particularly encouraging portion of Scripture because the Lord is coming. He's coming for his people. We are a part of that group, and we believe that the Lord is going to increase our love for each other. Would you just share with the folk? Thank you. It is really God's love which is all-embracing. There is no other love. I have said this before, but there is no other love like God's love. No human love can begin to compare to it. And the world is desperately yearning to be loved. That is a desire in the heart, I believe, of every person because God has put it there and only God can fulfill it. And in this day and time, I believe God is really wanting us to embrace His love more fully so that we can allow His love to pour out of our hearts to others. I was just in a prayer meeting this morning where we were praying for the unreached people groups of the world and how little of our resources as believers has gone to them. It's, it's a pitiful amount. I think it's 1% of our giving, of our resources have gone to these people who are even without Bibles, who are without the gospel message that God loves them. And we see in John 3.16, probably the greatest verse in the Bible, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And I know my heart was stirred and I said, God, just pour in more of your love into me. Pour in so I can pour out more because that's why God pours his love into us. As these verses clearly say that we would, our love would increase because he wants us to keep pouring it out, pouring it out. Well, he does, and we want to cooperate with the Spirit of God. We want to be able to have this increase of his presence and his power in our lives. And again, this, as is our pattern, we're going to read this portion of Scripture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, and we're looking at verses 12 and 13 from the NIV version of the Bible. And that says, May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your heart so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. I'm going to ask you, Charlotte, if you would begin our time of prayer, and I will follow up. Thank you, dear. Lord, we know that you reveal your love through us, even as Paul wrote here in Thessalonians, that they had modeled a love 
for the church there. And Father, we know that we cannot love until we are just really full of your love. And you want to fill us to overflowing, as these verses say, with your love, so that we can pour it out. And we can never exhaust your love, Lord. It is inexhaustible. So we just thank you today, Lord, that you will pour in more and more of your love. Father, we are the containers of your love so that we can pour it out to others and through us your love will be seen. And so we just thank you, God, that you will expand our capacity to receive your love so that we might give it freely. Amen. You know, Charlotte, as you talk about expanding our capacity, I couldn't help it and I'm going to say it. We had this man that I used to sing with back when I was a, a very, very young man and his name was Ron Kelly. And, and he said there was a the story of this little mouse that fell into a vat of molasses. <laughs> and when he fell in the vat of molasses, he swam around and around and around, and he thought he was going to drown. And then he, he prayed this prayer, Lord, give me the capacity to accept this opportunity, <laughs> which is obviously a humorous way of saying, Lord, expand our capacity. But I'm going to just continue to pray. Lord, we do thank you that you are at work working your powerful, capacity to love in us. And Lord, we are not limited. We're not as limited as we think we are. We are more elastic. We're more pliable than we ever give ourselves credit to. And as we get older, we get a little bit more stringent and a little tighter and a little harder to move and, and a little less elastic. But really, Lord, you want for us to be able to expand. So Father, we ask that you would make your people expand, that you'd make us to expand, that we would have this capacity to love even more. Lord, we do love, and we love because we are first loved by you, but we know, Lord, that we can love more. We want to love more, we want to be more filled with your love and your grace for our lives, for each other, for the things that you want to accomplish in your people. Give us, Lord, an increase in our capacity to love just as you love. Lord, we pray your blessing on each and every person that is walking with us in this prayer time and praying with us daily. We pray that your presence will be about us and that you'll move us more and more into that perfect peace that we're called to walk in. Bless your people in Jesus' name.